Hey everybody, welcome back to Legends of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Alright, so I guess we're about getting ready to head into our trial dungeon and finally see what the combat system's like, I hope. All your training has finally come down to this. Your qualification test will begin here. I expect to see you both use what you've learned up to this point. Understood. What's wrong, Estelle? Um, Shara? What now? I was kind of wondering, but... Is there not going to be a paper test or something? Did Cassius drop you on your head as a child or something? You just read what it was on the bulletin board not that long ago, right? Yeah, and? And I even made you jot down what you read in your brace of notebooks. Unless you forgot that too. I'm pretty sure the job listing mentioned searching for and retrieving an item from the sewers. Ringing any bells yet? What a relief. Ah, uh, divine adios. I give thanks to thee for thy infinite grace in bestowing upon us such wonderful gifts as sewers. So, what you're really saying is that you thought it was a paper test? No wonder you were acting all crazy back at the Orville factory. Uh, I can already feel the nostalgia. All those horrible days stuck in a classroom are starting to feel like grand memories indeed. I'm really starting to wonder if we'll even be able to graduate at all. What's wrong with you? Why do you ha why have to go and say something like that when I'm trying to reminisce about positive things? Alright, that's enough jabbering, you two. This is supposed to be a test, so how about the both of you try and at least look a little anxious? Just so you know, though, if you happen to flunk the test, you don't even want to imagine the kind of homework I'll have in store for both of you. <laughs> well, we'll be fine. Just tell us what you want to do and let us loose. Well, if you're so confident, then how about proving that you're not just blowing hot air with the results of your test? Anyway, as you both saw on the bulletin board now, this test will be a search conducted in Roland Sewers. <coughs> mm. Pardon me. Your objective is to retrieve the contents of a chest which has been placed somewhere in that area. The layout of the sewers is extremely simple, so you needn't worry about getting lost either. However, there are real, living, breathing monsters down there, so if you get careless and let your guard down, you will be sorry. Also, let me give you this before I forget. Tear Balm and a Monster Guide. What's this book for? It's called a Monster Guide, and it's used to record information about monsters and other opponents you meet. Whenever you figure out an enemy's attributes, you should make an immediate note of it in there. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. He who controls the flow of information controls the tide of battle, right? That's exactly what I'm saying. You've really got a good head on your shoulders, Joshua. That's some pretty useful advice. Thanks for the tip, Shara. We'll put it to good use. Alrighty then, let's get pumped and knock out this test. Let's. Don't forget though, this is an exam. We should make sure we treat it as such. So, is it random encounters, or... There appears to be a recovery point set up ahead. Let's use it for HP and EP to come low before engaging in any further battles. Orbment charging stations are recovery points set up in dangerous areas. As a recovery point is approached, beep, mark will appear, two choices will be displayed, pressing the OK button. By selecting the rest option, all HP and EP will be restored. That sounds like a plan to me! Eight hours later... CP. What's CP? Okay, so I guess monsters are on the map? Maybe? I don't know. Monsters at 12 o'clock! Be careful not, not to let them take advantage of your blind side. Got it! Monsters cannot be seen from far away. They will become visible as you approach them. The conditions at the start of a battle will change depending on how a monster is engaged. Engaging the enemy from behind is advantageous, while being attacked by an enemy from behind is disadvantageous. Battle Order Bar Indicates who attacks first. It starts from the top and moves down. Uh. 
attack an enemy. You may want to you may also use it to move if you're using a mouse and click an empty space. The highlighted area in indicates the distance the character can move. Selecting a target in this area will move the character to attack. When an enemy is out of range, an icon will appear on your cursor. Selecting out of range target will move the character as close to it as possible, but no attack is performed. A juicy bone. Here comes some more! Depending on the enemy, some physical attacks may be ineffective. Let's use arts, not just physical attacks. Okay. Arts are effective on enemies that are good at avoiding physical attacks. Arts also make long-range attacks possible, but require time to be cast. EP is consumed when arts are used. EP can be recovered by resting at inns, hotels, or by using charge stations and other items like an EP charge. <laughs> arts are effective against foes difficult to hit with a weapon or those in which physical attacks have little effect. It takes time before arts can be cast, also EP is consumed when arts are cast. All arts have an element. Determine the element most effective against your foe and use it. Crisp onion. Hmm, <laughs> I wonder CP. But still, let's try using crafts this time around. Since crafts have other effects besides just dealing out damage, they're worth a shot. Roger that. Crafts have range limits, but can be utilized instantly. CP is gained by dealing out or receiving damage during battle. Oh, craft points. Crafts are character-specific skills, which not only deal out damage, but also have a broad range of effects. Using crafts consumes CP. CP is gradually gained by dealing out or receiving damage in battle. Come on! Strong th up. Let's move out! 
curative horn and a juicy bone. Wow, those things actually hurt a little bit. That was one attack. Rusted shut and appears to be locked. Locked, jammed, stalk. Ooh, what a surprise! Another creepy thing. I wish there were an easier way to take care of them. One blow using an S craft or S break should do the trick for just about any enemy. The catch is our CP has to be at least 100 to pull off one of those moves. These devastating attacks can only be unleashed when the CP gauge is above 100. S breaks are actions which allow S crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring battle order. S crafts are which are yeah, which are unleashed as S breaks can be changed by going to tactics and then set S break within the main menu. S-Breaks. These are actions which allow S-Crafts to be immediately unleashed while ignoring battle order once CP gauge has reached zero. S-Crafts, which are used as S-Breaks, can be changed in ta by going to Tactics and then set S-Break within the main menu. Press the Break button to unleash the an S-Break. An S-Break cannot be unleashed under the mirror condition. Now press the break button to try unleashing an S break. If you're on a keyboard, you may use the 1 through 4 keys or the arrow keys to select for unleashing. Oh, I had to push down on the D pad. Little dirty rat. You killed my brother. Okay, I have to use the D-pad to select somebody. Juicy bone. I want my HP back because ow. I will take advantage of all the free heals. So pummel and settle. <laughs> so what do we have here? Large onion with a nice crunchy texture. With almost no acrid taste, it can be eaten like an apple. Health food full of minerals. Figuring out how to eat it requires some ingenuity. An essential ingredient for soup broth. Use the numerous. Oh, okay, so cooking. So that's the treasure chest we're after, huh? If we made it this far, the rest is gonna be a piece of cake. Seems like we got a little breathing room at least. Let's pay close attention to our battle order this time. <clears throat> there should be a number of ways to get more mileage out of our actions. During battle, there are several bonuses which can be allotted to turns. Turn bonuses have the same effect regardless of whether they're allotted to an ally or foe. Using S breaks to ignore battle order makes it easier to jump in and strip an enemy of their turn bonus. Arr 
These icons indicate the bonuses allotted for the battle order. If a bonus icon appears next to a character's icon, they'll receive that bonus. Heal HP, Septeth Up, etc. indicates the effects of each icon. There we go. Aha! Eat a dick! That's that then. Let's move out. Okay, before I open the plot chest of plotting and possibly trigger a boss fight. <clears throat> this ain't my first rodeo. I don't trust shit. Open chest, receive plot item, receive monster. Huh, that's weird. There's a couple of boxes inside the treasure chest. The fact that there's not just one, but two is kind of interesting, too. I wonder what's inside. Remember, Estelle, our mission is a search and retrieve only. I'm pretty sure looking inside those boxes doesn't fall under our mission objective. <laughs> You're no fun at all, Joshua. This has nothing to do with our mission. It's what I like to call good, honest curiosity. You know, we're the only ones down here. We can get away with a teensy weensy peek, right? If you feel like flunking today's test, then by all means, be my guest. Did you just say the F word? Yep, opening one of those boxes could result in an automatic fail for both of us. If this were a real job, the contents of those boxes would belong to the client. And as long as they were nothing illegal, we would have no right to open them. I know you're right, Joshua, but I just can't help myself. If you absolutely have to know what's inside, why not ask Miss Shara when we get back? But for now, we need to focus on getting out of here. Alright, alright. Where's the boss at? Jump! Stuck! Locked! I'm amazed. 
I didn't encounter Super Grimbler. Good work, you two. As a rule of training, I'm going to need to confirm the items in your possession. Yep, they're the real deal, all right. I don't see any evidence of tampering, either. That was the close one. I figured she would try and set us up like that. Congratulations to the both of you. You've successfully passed your qualification test. You didn't really think something that simple would be a problem for us, did you? So, uh, Shara, what's in those boxes you had us get? That's for me to know and you to find out after your training is finished. That's enough chit-chat for now, so let's get back to work. You two still have some things left to do. Seriously? But didn't you just say we passed the test? You still have to learn about how to report the results of your work. I'm aware that you're both tired, but this is no time to shirk your duties. Let's get back to the guild. When is this day going to be over? Oh well, no sense in giving up when the finish line is in sight. Agreed. It seems like we're within reaching distance of our goal. Your final training is how to report to the guild. Whenever you finish the job, it's your duty to report the results of your work to the guild. Reporting how you resolved the situation and the steps you took to get there are all part of your job as a bracer. You can report your results to the front desk in each guild branch, and as you already know by now, Ina is in charge here at the Roland branch. In addition, this is where you'll be paid for your work. I look forward to seeing great things from the both of you. Now that we're here, why don't you both go ahead and report the results of today's training? Upon approaching the counter, a talk mark will appear. Blah blah blah, and select report. Hmm. Ninth class. See payment. BP one. Current rank ninth class. Good job, you two. It seems like you were able to complete your objective without running into any major problems. Another thing to note is that depending on how you handle a job, you may see an increase or decrease in the amount of pay you receive. When you report the results of your work to the guild, pay in the form of Mira isn't the only thing you receive. You will also accumulate points, which are known as BP. BP are an indication of your achievements as a bracer. When these points exceed a certain value, you'll advance in rank as a bracer and be awarded with a piece of special equipment by the guild. The ranks of a junior bracer start at 9 and go all the way to 1. Please set your sights on making first rank and work hard. The amount of Mira and BP you receive will be recorded in your bracer notebook, so please have a look sometime later on. All that's left to do now is finalize your training. Let's head back upstairs, shall we? I'll talk to you later, Aina, and sorry for putting more work on your plate today than usual. Don't worry about it. Training new braces is important for the future of the guild. I fully intend to work with these two, work these two to the bone in any case. To the bone? And knowing sure, it'll involve the whip. Let me say it again. Good work, you two. You have now officially completed the entire training course. From now on, you'll be learning from your own real-world experience. Well then... Sherazard holds out the two small boxes. Aren't those boxes the one... In answer to your question, yes, these are the boxes you retrieved during today's test. You seem awfully curious to find out what's inside, Estelle. Are you saying it's okay if we open them? That's right. Why don't the both of you have a look and see what's inside? Sweet! Alright, let's have a look. Estelle and Joshua open the boxes. Junior Bracer Emblem. This crest is... So, this does this mean that we're... Ahem. Estelle Bright, Joshua Bright. Beginning this day at 1500 hours, you are both hereby appointed as Junior Bracers within the Bracer Guild. From here on, you will work as members of the Bracer Guild to support the livelihood of those around you, defend peace, and uphold justice. Congratulations, you two, and welcome into the field, Fold. Did you hear that, Joshua? we become members of the Bracer Guild! So I'm a Bracer now, huh? I think the realization is only now just beginning to sink in. Come on, Joshua! You should be jumping for joy or running around and screaming at the top of your lungs like this! Look at us now, world! We did it! I was happy until you made my eardrums bleed. I hate to interrupt you with the celebrations, Estelle, but I need to take off now. I have some backed-up work that needs my immediate attention. We understand. 
You have been spending a lot of extra hours working with us during this busy time for the guild. Before you head out, Shiro, I just want to say thanks. Likewise, I appreciate all the trouble you've gone through for, Shiro. Don't mention it. Training new recruits is one of the Bracer's many duties. Believe it or not, I was once in your shoes a long time ago when your father Cassius trained me. So that's why you have so much respect for my dad, huh? There's actually much more to it than that, but I'll save that conversation for another day. As for the both of you, work hard to become full-fledged Bracers early on so you can help the guide those new recruits who come after yourselves. And in time, I hope to see you both become respectable bracers like your father. Anyway, I'll leave you with that thought. Um, I just don't get it. Get what? This is Sherazard, aka the Silver Streak. One of the most skilled young bracers we're talking about. So why is it she holds that in such high esteem? He just seems like nothing more than a no-good middle-aged man who's always out doing who knows what instead of being a father. A no-good middle-aged man, huh? From your viewpoint, it doesn't come as a surprise that you'd see him in that fashion. Huh? Never mind. Let's just hurry and head home. We should let Dad know we're quali that we qualified as junior bracers. Right. I want money! Money? Money! Hi there, Rosel and Joshua. Oh, hi, Ridge. Yeah, it looks like your training's over, isn't it? I'm humbled to know that you two are the youngest ever to pass the bracer exam. I look forward to working with you in the same capacity. Ourselves as well. Now, I have to get back to work now, but if there's something you don't understand, give me a holler. Congratulations. You two are now official members of the Bracer Guild. From now on, I'm going to be passing jobs out to you like candy. Bring it on, is all I have to say. I look forward to working with the guild. Hurry up and come on! Oh, wait for me, Luke! Oh, it's you two. Oh, great, it's Estelle. Hi there, Joshua! Okay, you little twerp. What's with the oh great it's a stealth remark? And what's the big hurry? How about telling us where you're headed? You're not thinking about wandering out of town alone, are you? The roads are full of monsters, I hope you know. You're such a pest, Estelle. Don't you know there's no room for girls to be sticking their big fat noses in the boys' business? Quit acting like you're a bracer, you wannabe. <laughs> How wrong you are, Luke. How incredibly wrong. You're more wrong than a fool who thinks there's better tasting milk than in liberal than the milk that comes from the Purzel farm. What? N no way! You're full of it, Estelle. In fact, as of just a few minutes ago, we qualified to become real bracers. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Real bracers. More like bracers in training, really. I don't think you should be getting on your high horse just yet, Estelle. Now a high pony on the other hand. Quit being a killjoy. Wow, you two are great. I'm so happy for the both of you. Oh, Pat, you're such a good little boy. Unlike that smart aleck and cynical brat you call a friend. This isn't fair. I was supposed to become a bracer first. I can accept that Joshua became a bracer before me, but getting passed by the likes of Estelle? What's the likes of Estelle supposed to mean? Just so you know, you can't even be a bracer until you're 16 years old, get it? Only mature people are allowed. And that means some of the kids who are still going to Sunday school. I don't know how I should put this, Estelle, but Sunday school is dying to have you back. You better watch out, Estelle. I'm gonna go train at my secret base, and before you know it, I'm gonna be a bracer, too! Come on, Pat, let's go. Alright, I'm coming. See you later, Estelle. Bye, Joshua. That boy, Luke, he's always trying to pick a fight with me. I wonder if he just plain hates me or something. Rather, I think it's the exact opposite. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. It's just a boy thing. At any rate, what do you think Luke meant when he said secret base? I don't know why, but somehow it makes me a bit curious. I know exactly what you mean. A secret base sounds really intriguing. The pure heart of a young child can be so inspiring at times. 
that's not really what I meant by curious. Hey there, Stella Joshua. How can I help you? Did you manage to become bracers? You bet we did. Maybe I should have you start calling me Hyper Bracer Estelle from now on. And by the way, Mr. R Ryan, did the liberal news come in? Yeah, it came in a little afternoon. Don't brush me off like that, you two. Oh, whatever. I'll take one copy then. That comes to 100 mirror, please. Fuck. News is expensive. I know my dad always buys a copy of this magazine, but does it really sell that well? Sure does. Liberal News has an excellent reporter and camera woman who have done a great job reporting the latest and most reliable news. They're even supposed to have a running story related to keep Queen Alicia's birthday celebration. One more thing before you go. This gift is my way of saying congratulations. It's a free sample item received for the shipment of my goods, but don't hold the free part against me. What's this supposed to be for? There's a ton of blank pages. It's a recipe book, isn't it? You got it. When you get hurt fighting, if you just... When you get hurt fighting, if you just limit yourself to healing bulbs all the time, it's going to cut pretty deep into your wallets. This is where a recipe book comes into play. If you eat food to recover your strength instead, it's basically free. Assuming you have all the ingredients anyway. So if you eat something new, write down what's on it, and you'll have lots of recipes in no time. So how about we try this out? Go ahead and eat this cookie, Estelle. <laughs> well, I have made it a personal rule never to turn down sweets. Basically, all you have to do is eat the food and learn the recipe. It's that simple. As you're traveling about, you should eat whatever food you come across that you have, haven't had an opportunity to try before. Oh, that sounds pretty convenient. Um, it's not that I don't like cooking and all, it's just that I never seem to get any better. I'd sure love to be able to increase my repertoire and really shock my dad's taste buds once for once in my life. That's the spirit. And in passing, if you're in need of any ingredients, I'd be delighted, delighted to service your cooking needs. You really know how to solicit your customers, Mr. Ryden. Thank you for the recipe book. We'll put it to good use. Eating the recommended dish at restaurants or using to-go meals adds the recipe to the recipe book. By selecting the recipe book, all learned recipes will be displayed. As long as the necessary ingredients are available, the food can be made. There are two types of food, sit-down meals, which must be eaten on the spot, and to-go meals, which can be carried as items. Sit-down meals cannot be carried as items. Ingredients for cooking can be bought at a store or acquired from monsters. By the way, Mr. Renan, how did you know that today was the last day of our training? <laughs> In a certain sense, both you and Joshua are like celebrities here in Roland. I tend to hear a lot from customers coming through here. I shouldn't have expected anything less from Roland. The grapevine around here is seriously something to be reckoned with. No kidding. The women here especially love to gossip. And what do we got? Tear balm, purging balm. Fuck, that's expensive. Insulating tape. Quick fix tape to re repair neutralized ornament. Christ, that's expensive. Marbled steak. A dirty character. <laughs> mm. Kibbled salt. And also the. Mm. So. Half year countdown to Her Majesty's 60th birthday celebration has begun. There has been a banner year. This has been a banner year for Her Royal Highness, sparking more anticipation than this event has ever seen before. But we must not forget too that this year is also is the 10th since the Hundred Days' War, a period of intense turmoil for all the liberal. 
As we celebrate, let us reflect on the tragedies of the past so that we... Ah, A. May refrain from ever reliving them in the future. We have been afforded this luxury of hindsight and we must see it to our fullest. Preparations underway in Royal City. Main Street is filled with the bustle of men and women furiously preparing decor and merchandise for the upcoming festivities and developing new products specifically for sale during the celebration. The competition is truly cutthroat. I yearn for my customers' taste buds to sing with delight, says Mrs. Sorbet, a local ice cream purveyor who deals her wares in the city's east block. Sadly, her new menu will remain a mystery until the day of the festival. As the population grows, more and more businesses pop up all around me. But all that means is more customers, especially at festival time, so I'm certainly not complaining, she exclaims with a sly smile. Miss Sorbet seems to have a few tricks up her sleeve, so to all her competitors we say, watch out. Who shall stand and who shall fall? Prior to the festival, Her Majesty will be hosting our annual martial arts competition in the Royal Arena. This fiercely competitive tournament is always a big hit, and with some avid spectators and even regarding it as the day's main event. Which team will come out on top? Society. Burglaries across the Bose region. Or Bose? I don't know. Yeah. According to our sources, the Bose region has seen a string of burglaries over the last several days and the people have had enough. The Royal Army Border Patrol station to the Hawk and, or Hawk and Gate has been stepping up efforts to apprehend the group of criminals responsible for these acts, and anyone with information in their identities is urged to contact the Border Patrol immediately. Travel, finding the perfect getaway. The Kingfisher Inn, along the beautiful Valeria Lakeshore, is more popular than ever, following a visit from the women of the Royal City. Won't you come and fish with us too? So this restores readily made aromatic cookie. Great for snacks. So it's 50... Fifty-four... So that's fifty-eight for an item that can restore eighty HP. Weapons! Jesus fucking H Christ on a bike! Pile rod. Range plus one. Oh! Oh, never mind. She already has range plus. So she can attack from one square away. So she has one less move, but she can attack from two. Okay. Can I... Okay, so you don't actually have... Wait. Eh, something. So... Oh, we're wearing... God damn, shit is fucking expensive. Don't make me grind! Let's have wholesome pasta. Some pasta. Okay, 
Ah, to go heals H. Okay, so maple cookies are one. I'm guessing sit down meals are. Four, five milled flowers, beast flesh, and olive oil. Mind the mail! 100, 180 for the entire party. Oh, I didn't eat the other things yet. Estelle! Joshua! I'm glad I found you two! Oh, hi, Ina! Is something wrong? You seem to be in quite a hurry. We've got a bit of a problem. Is your father at home today? Yes, he is. He said something about having to sort out a bunch of documents. But what's going on? You know Luke and Pat, right? Sure we do. In fact, we saw them not long ago. What's wrong? Are they in some sort of trouble? I don't know how to say this, but... I just heard from Uni that Luke and Pat ran off to the tower that lies in the northern outskirts of Roland. You mean the Tower of Esmalaz? Isn't that place supposed to be a breeding ground for monsters? That's what they say. Unfortunately, at the moment, Shiva's art is on, on other bracer business, so I want to ask your father to bring the boys home safely. What are you talking about? There's no time for that. Joshua and I will go after them and bring them back. I don't know if that's such a good idea. The two of you are just qualified to be junior bracers today. With all due respect, I believe that Estelle's judgment is correct in the situation. If the two of us hurry, we may even be able to catch up with the boys before they reach the tower. I understand. I'll take responsibility for whatever happens. As an emergency request from the Bracer Guild, I ask that you lose no time in bringing about the safe return of these children. Roger that. Understood. This... The Asmazla's tower can be reached by taking the western path of the junction along the Malga Trail. You can get onto the Malga Trail through Roland's Northwest Gate. I'll be on standby at the guild, so if you run into any trouble, you know where to find me. This is our first real job. Come on, Joshua! We don't have time to lose! I'm right behind you. Okay. Ah. Whew! I can save anywhere. I, well, alright. I just blew my money load on food. <laughs> Shit, maybe I should have bought a new weapon. Northwestern gate. So this way? Ah! Cat bat thing! Fuck! What are you? Murder it! <laughs> oh god, it missed. Owie! No, why have you betrayed me? Bonus to critical? That was probably a- That's what that is. That was dumb of me to fucking split my attack like that. I should not have done that. Oh boy. Things hurt. Oh god, where was that fucking sewer hole? Thank you. 
that's that then. Let's move out. Going to have to, um... See, uh... Kind of uh Ow, that's waffle. Alright, we're good. We're gonna to go. have to see what kind of um effect leveling has, like if if it's like a significant change in stats or what. God damn it. I guess crits don't ensure you're actually hitting. Okay, so treasure chests don't restock. I don't know if I just got lucky walking back out, walking back over here, or what. But I definitely want to... Wait, did I lose my... Oh no, it's, it's overcharging, over 100. Ooh, looks like a get a sep a septum up. Oh, 
Septus or whatever. Yeah, Septus. So how much of that affect us by learn taunt? Oh, it looks like she got oh she got healed. Okay, so Oh, they were level three? Hmm. How like each point actually means like if it went up by attack like if attack goes up by a couple points or something like what that exactly entails. Uh, I guess the one way to get the money is to. Although I do guess I could. So most of those are only worth eight here. It's the same here. Could have sworn like the tavern had like better rates. I could have sworn that I saw it in here one of them said like 20. No, I guess I'm just Maybe the rates change? of our bullshitty adventure and see how badly we get fucked up. I cannot... I can barely see those things on the ground. doing a bit more damage. Alright, we're good to go.
I saw you moving. Cool. What is that? Now it doesn't like fire, but. Okay, using <coughs> using that, it doesn't matter how it has to be over a hundred, but it drains it to zero. So okay. That is... <laughs> Those are nasty. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Adios.